The Cognitech Tri-Suite software package includes Cognitech Video Investigator, Cognitech Video Active, and Cognitech Auto Measure. Video Investigator is Cognitech's comprehensive video processing platform for extracting the utmost available clarity from image or video sources. One of Video Investigator's primary functions, Adaptive Deblur, will be covered in this interactive tutorial. Welcome to the Cognitech Video Investigator Adaptive Deblur tutorial. This interactive tutorial will focus on fixing complex multidirectional blur with Adaptive Deblur. Click Go to begin. Motion blur is a common problem that occurs when movement happens while a picture is being taken. Motion blur can occur from the movement of an object in the scene or the camera taking the picture. When motion blur occurs in a single direction, the blur can easily be removed with a standard motion deblur kernel. The way to analyze and correct the blur is to extract the point spread function of the blur, which is also known as a blur kernel. The point spread function is the result of the application of the blur to an image of a single bright point. When the point spread function is applied to every pixel of a clean image, the blurred image is produced. To deblur a blurry image, the user simply determines the point spread function and inverts the blur process. When motion blur occurs in multiple directions, the blur cannot easily be removed with a standard motion deblur kernel. The adaptive deblur filter creates custom blur kernels specific to an image, allowing for complex multidirectional blur removal. Complex blur is a common problem when trying to read details like license plates. Before enhancement, the license plate number is completely illegible. Not even a single number is visible. Standard linear motion deblur cannot compensate for complex multidirectional blur. The license plate number still cannot be read. The blur in this picture is nonlinear and needs a custom blur kernel. The adaptive deblur filter creates custom blur kernels that are utilized by the Wiener and Total Variation deblur filters. The adaptive deblur filter is found in the deblur filters category. Custom kernels can be created with adaptive deblur in one of two ways. The track method generates custom blur kernels from a single blurred image. The point method creates a custom blur kernel from a blurred image and corresponding clean image. The clean image does not have to include the object of interest. This window allows the user to choose a clean image for the point method. The adaptive deblur filter allows the user to create a custom deblur kernel based on the evidence image. The information section provides a log of all actions in the adaptive deblur interface. The Blur Kernel section allows the user to switch between Available Methods, Compute, Rollback, and Save Custom Kernel. The Status section provides information about the Blur Kernel. The bottom toolbar allows the user to toggle contents of the preview window. Let's use the Adaptive Deblur filter to remove a complex blur from an image. The first step is to open a file. Files can be opened with the Open File icon in the Icon toolbar. Click Open File to continue. The evidence image has been selected. Click Open to open the evidence image. The streaks of light that appear in this image display the direction of the motion of the blur in the image. To use the adaptive deblur filter, we must first trace the path of one of these lines with the Glyph tool. Before we do that, we should zoom the image with the Zoom tool for accurate glyph placement. Click the Zoom tool. Clicking the Zoom tool expands the options available in the left toolbox. Select the Zoom In tool. Zoom the image by clicking in the image window. The image is still small. Zoom again. Zoom one last time. Now that the image is zoomed, we can continue to trace the blur line with the glyph tool.
The Glyph tool is a drawing tool that allows for user input in various filters. We can trace the motion lines with the Open Polygon tool in the Glyph Tools toolbox. First, click on the Glyph tool. Now click on the Open Polygon tool in the newly opened toolbox. Click on the motion line to create a point over it. Continue making another point over the motion line next to your first point. You can continue tracing the motion line in this manner until the entire motion line has been traced. In the interest of time, we'll go ahead and place the remaining points on the image. Now that the entire line has been traced, we're ready to use the Adaptive Deblur filter. Adaptive Deblur is found in the Deblur category of the Filters menu. Open the Filters menu. Go to the Deblur menu. Open the Adaptive Deblur filter. We're going to use a track method and don't require a clean image. Click OK to continue. The Adaptive Deblur interface window opens and allows us to zoom, make changes to our glyphs, show and hide glyphs, and select the preview image with the tools in the Blur Kernel section. The Information section says that we have enough track to compute the Blur Kernel. This means that we have enough points placed with the Glyph tool. We're now ready to compute the Blur Kernel. Click Compute to generate the custom Blur Kernel. A custom Blur Kernel has been generated from the image. Click View Deblurred Image to see the deblurred result preview. Here you can see the preview of the image deblurred with a custom deblur kernel. Click Save to save the deblurred image. Click Save. Check the Save checkbox to save the image of the Blur Kernel. Clicking the Save checkbox saves the corresponding image of the Deblur Kernel when the Deblur Kernel is saved. Click Save Kernel to save the custom Blur Kernel for use in the Wiener Filter or Total Variation Deblur Filters. Click Save. Close the Adaptive Deblur window. The Wiener filter is a deblur filter allowing for Gaussian, motion, defocus, diffraction, and custom deblur. Traditional blur kernels are linear, while custom blur kernels can be multidirectional. The signal to noise ratio parameter is an estimate of the balance between the energy of the signal relative to the noise. Decreasing the signal to noise ratio will eliminate noise artifacts, but also decrease clarity. To open the Wiener Deblur filter, open the Filters menu found in the top menu. The Wiener Deblur filter is found in the Deblur category of the Filters menu. Open the Wiener filter. Choose Custom Kernel. Click Browse to select the custom Deblur kernel. Click Open to select the Blur kernel. Activate the filter to see the deblurred image. Change the signal to noise ratio to 100. Click Process to apply the custom deblur to the image. Click Finish to close the Wiener filter. Toggle the checkbox to compare before and after adaptive deblur.
toggle the checkbox for a zoomed in comparison before and after adaptive deblur. Click continue to end this tutorial. You have now deblurred an image with complex multidirectional blur that couldn't be removed with traditional filters. With practice, this technique can be used to clarify complicated blur. Try Adaptive Deblur and see how custom blur removal can work for you. If you would like to return to the beginning, click Restart Course. For sales or technical questions, contact us at sales at cognitech.com or tech support at cognitech.com or visit us at www.cognitech.com.